The following is a public service announcement, perhaps most directed at myself in the past, but maybe you'll find it useful. Breadboards, as convenient as they are, are not perfect for everything. Like, say, high power circuits. Opinions differ on what the maximum is, but personally, for anything over 5 watts, I'll move to a piece of perf board. Breadboards, especially the cheap ones, can actually melt. And then there's sensitive circuits. These spring clips inside of a breadboard create extra inductance and capacitance. So when you're building that precision oscillator, things might get a little unreliable and weird. And the same goes for high frequency stuff. In my experience, anything over one megahertz starts to get kind of wonky on a breadboard. So stay sane and use the right tool for the job, which FYI might be a protoboard, just saying.